you got to ask yourself, why would anyone want to work for you? Yeah, that, that's one of the. That's always a great, great question to ask yourself. I mean, you got to ask why, why, why would anyone want to work for you? Why would anyone want to come to work with your you know, your plumbing company? Right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 403rd episode of Potty Talk, and we're continuing our our four-part series of myth busters. Myth busters. Myth busters, that's all right? We're debunking uh, the plumbing myths that we have, all right? It's like, um, you know, my customers won't pay that. Mm. I can't charge that. Okay, <laughs> we're going to debunk that myth, all mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, I can't make enough money. Okay, I can't make enough money with my plumbing business. Mm. All right. Last can't wait week, for that one. Yep. Last week was there's not enough plumbing customers. Mm-hmm. There's no plumbing customers in my town. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you missed that episode, be sure to go back and catch it. Okay. Absolutely. All right. We busted the, that one wide open. The lovely Laura was on a tear. <laughs> okay. You want to check that out. But mm-hmm. this one, okay, mm-hmm. we're covering the popular myth. There just aren't enough plumbers. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> There's not enough plumbers. There's, I can't find I can't find plumbers. any plumbers. <laughs> All right. There's never any good plumbers. All right. <laughs> All right. We're gonna bust that myth. Uh, you know, and these are what we call them myths, but really they're they're lies or um, excuses. excuses. Really that's what it comes down to. Excuses. Uh, for our own inability, okay, you're just doing the wrong things, okay? Mm-hmm. And this is this is an excuse, okay, that I can't find enough plumbers. Mm-hmm. You know, first of all, I want to say to remind that really like the subtitle of this, of this series could be um, stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner or CEO, mm-hmm. okay? Because this is what we do. These myths come out of our, you know, just our, our superstitious plumbing thinking, you know, we're just these very, you know, I'm a plumber and there's just no customers out here and I can't find any guys, you know, all that kind of. Well, and it's hanging around other plumbers or, right. got, you know, at the supply and house and crying, or whatever. Pissing right. and moaning. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, all right. We all stay get, away from those right, guys. We, we get all caught up into that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we need to really start, stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and one of the, the things, you know, first of all, this, this, this myth or this excuse, you know, that there's just aren't any, I can't find any plumbers. It's always been that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been around this now for 35 years. 35. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting older. I, I want to say, I want to say 25. <laughs> I really, I do want to tell you it's less time because that makes me less old, you know. <laughs> You've been um, around but, for a while. Let's just throw that out. Okay, been, been around. <laughs> and it's always been like, there's never enough plumbers. It's mm-hmm. always been that way. In fact, I mean, it's, just, it's just always been that way. And it's that way in any industry when... Because the problem is, is we start, you know, we want them now, mm-hmm. okay? And of course, there's nothing, no one, no one waiting there now, okay? Right. But we'll, mm-hmm. we'll get, we'll get into that, okay? okay? Mm-hmm. But it, but it's, it's always been that way, mm-hmm. and so I also got to ask you, you know, uh, on this, you know, are are there are there any other plumbers in your town? <laughs> any okay. other plumbing companies and that plum- have plumbers? Plumbers, I mean, <laughs> are, are are there plumber? I mean, mm-hmm. so are you are you the only plumber in your town? Okay. And, and, and if you are, then I, that, then it is true. Right. It's, not, it's not a myth. It's truth. <laughs> if you're the you, only one. You can't one. find any plumbers. <laughs> okay. Then it's true. This okay. shirt is freaking me out. I don't know if anybody, if you're watching on, if you're watching the episode. Or oh, you see yourself in the monitor. Yeah. We have seeing? a monitor below. Okay. Yep. And yeah, this shirt does look a little weird. If you're listening, sorry, that doesn't make any sense. You'll have to go check it out on YouTube. But okay. yeah, this is a freaky. I like this shirt, but it is a little freaky. Sorry. I keep, okay. keep catching mine. And I think one of the faces on there is following me around. Oh, yeah. They're following you. <laughs> the eyes are following you. <laughs> sorry okay. all right For those audio listeners all right sorry go we'll ahead a moment there <laughs> no. okay go back all to right. wherever you were well another another important thing too then um is we're not not looking at finding plumbers you know through through a, a plumber's fo- you know set of glasses but through a, a plumbing business owner set of glasses mm-hmm. okay you got to ask yourself why would anyone want to work for you yeah that, that's one of the that's always a great great question you, to ask yourself I mean, you got to ask why 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 would anyone want to work for you? Mm-hmm. Why would anyone want to come to work with your, you know, your plumbing company? Right. Okay. Hopefully you've got some good answers. Hopefully you've got some good answers, but is well, it, oh, I don't well, know. Well, let's get in. Okay. Well, that, well, that right. leads so into, all right. all right, point number one here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Point number one, attract the right plumbers. Okay. Okay. You, you want to attract the right plumbers. If you can't find plumbers, it's not, you know, it's, 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 are there any other plumbers in your town? Yes. You know, plumbing companies. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're not attracting 
They don't want to work. <laughs> they want to work for you, okay? And so you got to ask, you know, what what are plumbers looking for? Look, these guys. The bottom line: these guys are looking for security. Security. Okay. Yep. And if they're married, their wives are looking for security, and the wife usually dictates, right? right. If she's not feeling like her husband's job is secure, she's not all about the plumbing company, right? If she's if there's things that are happening, either just crappy, um, you know, crappy equipment or no systems or payroll gets messed with or whatever, there's no security there. And that can make the plumber's life a living hell. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you say, well, I, quite, you just, as you just said, and maybe we're making an assumption here that they have wives. <laughs> and right. when, you do want, those are the guys you want to attract. Well, right, ones that have a family. Have and, a family because they, they have responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have, so that means they have others that they answer to and need to take care of. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have a fight to fight. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, something to protect. Okay, so they're going to show up on time, right. all right? They're going to work your system. They're going to do what you ask them to do. Right. They're not going to be drama, okay? And those are the guys you want to attract. Well, those guys, again, are looking for security, right. all right? If, so, it's a guy, if it's a guy that lives at home with his mom, he can quit the job and just, who cares, right? He, right. he doesn't care about that security, so that's not the plumber to be looking for. Right. You want someone who does have some responsibility that knows they, he needs a job to provide for his wife and his, his so kids. So you can say, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I got a, I'm the best plumber in town and I got all kinds of work. We're building million dollar homes and doing, you know, I always go, that's what we hear, you know, going down that. that mm -hmm. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you got a piece of crap truck and you look like a piece of crap, mm -hmm. okay, and your business looks like, well, I'm just, you know, we're working out of a back of, back of a pickup truck, okay, and that's that kind trashed. of thing. That's trash. Right. Mm -hmm. That's not security. Right. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of times we hear, you know, the, the fear is that, they, you know, they won't, you know, the good guys are in the big companies and the big companies won't, you know, I'm just a little guy. We, we, we see it all the time. You, if, you're, if you're set up right, mm -hmm. okay, they'll come work for you if you look like you know what you have going on right. and, and it looks like there's security. Right. Okay. You've got decent branding. You've got nice right. equipment. Um, there's some systems. You interview them, not at the side of the truck. You're piece of crap truck on a job site and you're, you know, flicking cigarettes out and whatever. Right. Right. That, there's no security there. No. Right. All right. <clears throat> so that leads to what you need to do is provide a better opportunity. Mm. Okay. That's how, how you track these guys too. Mm -hmm. So uh, provide a better opportunity. Well, again, there is, can't, you can provide, you can't compete with the big shops. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can provide, you know, you can provide better equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, you can pay more. All right, we, we talk about that in, in other trainings mm -hmm. about, you know, um, you know, who, you know, honest hourly rate. I don't want to go off, off the deep right. end there, mm -hmm. but you can pay more and right. your customers pay, pay for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, better opportunity, just, you know, with the big shops, there's on call. All right. Mm. Those, that, that kind of a thing. That's a big one right you know? there. And, and that's what we teach. We Million Dollar Plumber, Success Academy, our, our online um, academy. That's what we teach is you don't have to work on call, nights, weekends, holidays as a plumbing company. You don't. You don't. Um, we didn't. Um, all, all of the one, all of our clients, you know, that they, they go, go through our systems, they think in the beginning, oh gosh, there's just no way I have to. And when they when they realize they don't and they stop doing it, it's like a whole new life. So if you can offer that to um, a plumber who works for a big company or whatever, who has to be on some sort of rotation, and you guys have all been there, you've all been on that stupid rotation, right, right of on call weekends, and it's like, man, this year Christmas. Christmas, I have to work Christmas. Man, that 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 is a sinking feeling every time, um, or Thanksgiving, or whatever it might be. If you can provide that benefit to potential plumbers, you tell them right away that because that's your differentiator. You tell them right away. I don't work nights, no on call. We don't work weekends, and we don't work holidays. You're gonna freak them out. Like, how, are you kidding me? And he's got a wife and kids, and the kids, you know, have soccer, and the wife he wants to take his wife out every now and then, or, or whatever, right? Um, that. That's security, and that's a job that the wife won't want the husband to leave. That, that's a job she'll. You're hanging on to that right because on. I'm so tired of you. You know the other job, the other place, working nights, working weekends, being on call never fails. You know the phone rings right when you get to soccer practice or right when you sit down to dinner. Right? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a free uh, free tip here. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. This is a, this is a million dollar tip. You gotta you gotta think of what these guys will make you. Okay. Mm. All right. Our best recruiting, one of our tools we did, mm. was a card, a postcard uh -huh. that we send out directly to Mrs. You know, you can get- Mrs. You, Plumber. Mrs. Plumber, okay, <laughs> right. Mrs. Plumber. Mm -hmm. right, right, so you can right. get a list 
um, through your local whatever licensing, you can, licensing right. whatever you can get a list of all all licensed plumbers in your area. And also, there's easy ways to advertise on Facebook as well. But go ahead, babe. Right. But we we said, are you t- are you tired of you know your husband not being home? You know, always going uh, on holidays, weekends, the weekends on calls, uh, not being able to take a vacation when you do. You know, he's he's having to answer calls or you know that that kind of a thing mm-hmm. or report in or you know whatever. It just um, you know, we hit those pain points. Pain point exactly. For but her. We fit it on a card, you know, with back, one when very, we, back when we yeah, did postcards, postcards. <laughs> right. Um, and, um, but, but it was addressed to her with, with those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Well, we have, you know, no on call, no weekends, no holidays, you know, that, that kind of a thing mm-hmm. and lots of PTO. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, pay time off, pay, pay time off. Mm-hmm. All right. Miss, Mrs. Plummer loves Love that. that. We had guys <laughs> walking in holding the card saying, my wife said, I, supposed to come here and basically my wife made me come right. in i mean that, that that's silly my mm-hmm. wife holding my wife said mm-hmm. right. my wife got this and she thinks right. yeah so tell me more mm-hmm. right right it's, so, it's that. yeah you, that's one thing right. that's that's the biggest if you hear anything in this episode at all that one is the biggest not doing nice weekends on call all those things to give the plumbers um that you hire a better life let, let all the other customers or all the other plumbing companies do all the nights and weekends and on call and holidays let let them do it fine go ahead you give this benefit to to your employees. They're going to be more loyal, and they're going to actually maybe like their job because they know when they get off at five that you know the, the there's Even not six. A, yeah, if, if whatever. Talking, yeah, right. the possibility the possibility of the phone ringing for another job. It's just it's not going to happen. So right. or the weekend rolls around as Friday, and they know they're not having to come back in until Monday. That that is job. That's a that's a secure position in a secure company, and that. That's a differentiator. Yes. And I hear you say, well, you're losing all this money on the week. No, no, you're, not. no, no you're not. No, you're not. No, no you're not. Because and you're gaining a, a happy um, a happy employee. And there, you still have the spurs to them. Like we had the guys, hey, you show up here Monday, Monday morning, 730, and we're taking every call to 5 o'clock, blah, blah, blah. The guy, and the guys know, know that. And they don't want to blow this, you know. They, you know, they don't want to blow the, the, right. this job. That right. they don't have to work nights and weekends. So that's something right. also you tell them during the interview is now Monday through Friday, seven thirty to five, and we're, and possibly six depending on the, you know whatever you, we're working. We are working. We're kicking butt and we're working. And if we do that, that gives us the luxury of not having to work all the the nights, weekends, holidays, and on call. Right. So right. yes, this is a beautiful thing. It is okay. One of my most favorite things. You know, and then we think you know if you heard me say about you know the big companies, and this is what I hear. You know, I, I hear this often. Well, I don't want to steal guys from other <gasps> shops. I'm not going to steal their guys. That is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's stupid. It is. This, this is professional plumbing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's like football. Okay. As we're recording, this is football season. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the owners know each other. Friend, they do their stuff, the outings, their meetings. They have all this stuff. Okay. But I guarantee on to you, <laughs> they're after everyone's the better players of they course. they know and they're recruiting and they're working it of course. all right um it, it, it because it's professional football mm-hmm. okay professional sports yes. this is professional plumbing yep okay stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner right okay mm-hmm. you know who the better guys you you want the guys in the, the bigger shops the you know the reality of it is you're not gonna, probably going to get the one and two guy in, in the big shops because as you you know, You'll learn here, you know, you, you take care of those guys. They get, they get fed. There's just, there's things that happen. Okay. All right. But you definitely want number three, four, and five. Okay. Who are, you know, don't feel they're getting the opportunity or whatever. And you're going to give them a better opportunity, no nights and weekends and better pay and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. And if you can put them in a good truck, good equipment, they see that you're organized. Mm-hmm. All right. You'll, you'll attract those guys and you want to attract those guys mm-hmm. and, and, you know, and you don't care. You know, it's well, that, that owner, I'll make him mad. Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. A personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. Learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash applicant pro. 
Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Well, you okay, want to well, feed your kids, <laughs> or you you want you want to create wealth for your family, or you want to make some other owner mad. This you is know? true capitalism, right? right? So if this if this plumbing business right. owner keeps losing plumbers to other plumbing shops, he's doing something wrong, right? right. He's doing something wrong. So that's on him. It's not on you. Also, um, why would you hold back an opportunity? If you've got a great opportunity that's for a, a plumber, if you're yeah. paying really well, you offer great equipment, great truck, equipment, pay, all those things, and you um, offer no nights, weekends, on call or holidays. Who are you to hold that te- to to not offer that to a technician that maybe really wants it? Let him decide. So you offer that up to a, a plumber who works for your buddies, air quote, plumbing company, and you're like, I just don't want to steal him, whatever. You offer offer that up to that plumber, then let him decide. Let him decide if he'd rather have the benefits at your shop or the lack of benefits at the other. He can decide. Don't. It's not on you. It's not your decision. It's his decision. And again, if you you have something really good to offer these plumbers, you're being selfish by exactly. not offering it to them. You're being selfish. Right. And being stupid. You're thinking like a, oh, a yes. plumber. Right. Okay. And I we say I plumber. I get you know. Well, you just call plumber stupid. Sometimes. In this, in this case, <laughs> if you do that, okay, yes, with you your are. business, if you're thinking like a plumber with your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. That is stupid. Right. Okay. That is why, you know, we're struggling in areas. Okay. And, and that's why you're, you're experiencing this excuse that I can't find any plumbers. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which leaves another reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. That we, you feel you can't find any plumbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it really is coming out of a sense of that. Um, they're just not as good as me. That's, that's what I'm hearing. It's at least <laughs> our point number two. Okay. Let them plumb. Okay. Let them plumb. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. Nobody, nobody's as good as me. Mm-hmm. Nobody's as good as, you know. My that, customers only want me right. because I, I take care of them and I'm the best. Right. Okay. Well, how's that, how, how's that working for you at age 55? Right. right? <laughs> exactly. When your knees have gone out. Right. How, how's that working for you? We got nothing, nothing to show for it. And this is going to sound, you know, this is going to sound salesy or just, but you want to be rich or right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I had to, I had to answer that question for my own mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. Okay, at one point, and not necessarily no, rich like you got money just to burn or whatever, but, but to create but to wealth. Have, but to create right. wealth. Okay, mm-hmm. do do I want to be right that I'm the best plumber and this is exactly the way to do it? Which I in my time I'm the best plum, plumber. To this day, I still feel I'm better than you. If you're still, I haven't turned a wrench for years. <laughs> Okay. You got to have that, right? If you're going to walk in the field, you got to feel like you can get it, get the job done. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at the time when I was actually turning a wrench, there was no one, no one better at me. Mm -hmm. There was no one better at me at certain things. Okay. I always, because a couple (laughs) of like 99% of them. I've gotten old enough now. I'm I'm okay. I can admit there's some things like, uh, tub and shower valves. Tub and shower valves. (laughs) So, you know, you know. (laughs) You just had something about this. Tub and shower valves, installations. Okay. Um, Mm. It was not big hands or something. I don't know. I don't know. But, but other, okay. <laughs> but everyone, we all feel if you, if, if you have a plumbing business, you feel you're the best. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. But you got to get, again, stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you are going to get these guys. If they were as good as you, they'd have their own plumbing business too right. or doing stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. So really what I, I hoped for. Okay. Uh, first of all, you let, let the guys plumb. Mm-hmm. All right. It doesn't mean you don't get them training and that kind of stuff. Of course, okay? always. But I always hope to get, if I can get the guy, if, you, if the guy's going to be 80% as good as you. Yeah. Winner, winner, okay? chicken dinner. Right. 80, 80%, you know, thumbs up, double thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> For those that are listening, um, you know, that is great. And that's, expect that. But this ride and everything, this is exactly how you do this. And you do that and all that. Okay. That's why you can't find any guys mm-hmm. in your mind. Right. It's not that there aren't any guys. It's just in your mind. You're the best. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you're going to be the best dead, dead man plumbing. Yep. You know, with, by, by with, yourself. With bad knees and a bad back right. and, 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 no, and no, no asset. Right. At you the know, end of it. Mm-hmm. so yep. let, let, let them plumb. So what the answer is, is then is you systemize you. So, you know, we had a certain, if you have a certain way that, you know, I, I wanted water heaters installed. Okay. And this was the process that, that we went through that have the water heaters installed. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just like a coach. And when we get into this in, into the, in the sales and that kind of stuff, you don't have to sell, we, it's a sales, you know, it's a service system, right? Mm-hmm. Same thing goes with actually the, the installation, okay? To make the guys like you, okay, have the way that you want things done. This is the way we start the job, you know, this is the way we do this part of the job, this is the way we do this next part of the job, and this is the way we end the job, mm-hmm. 
Okay. This is how I interact with my customer as well. This is the way I clean up. Mm -hmm. Okay. The things that, that make you good. Okay. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Systemize you. Systemize you. Mm -hmm. Extremely important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, no, go ahead. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is good. Before we get to point three, which is a, which is a good one here. Don't want to, don't want to miss it here. Hey, I have something for you for hanging with us. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, welcome back. Okay, we're the eyes are still following me around too. By the way, okay, you're yes, okay. <laughs> need right, to yeah. somebody turn the monitor off. This <laughs> freaking me out. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you be okay. I think so. Okay, mm. all right, we're busting myths here. Yes, okay. we are. We are we're, busting myths. And before we do that, I want to say, guys, um, give us a like, a follow, a thumbs up. You know, for watching YouTube, subscribe. Um, hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode of Potty Talk. Um, if you're listening out on whatever your, your favorite podcast player, go out and give us um, a lovely five-star review because you love us so much. That would be so helpful. We'd really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. If you share the love. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Hey, we're busting a myth. I can't yeah. find any guys. Can't there find any plumbers guys. out there. Yes. Okay. So you got to make sure that you're attracting the right plumber. You also have to let them plumb. Let them plumb. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to systemize you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to systemize you. Mm -hmm. And if they can't do you, even with your system, that mm -hmm. leads us to point number three. And this is extremely important. Okay. Hear me on this one. If you don't hear anything else, well, the other, the other stuff's important. It's all too. good. They're all, all good. Right. Okay. Golden nuggets. But, but th this is extremely important in, in finding guys and retaining guys and growing your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. And it's this. Yep. Always be recruiting. <laughs> Always be recruiting. Well, I don't need any guys. Always be recruiting. ADR. I don't have enough work. <laughs> Always be recruiting. I got the best team in the world. Always <laughs> be recruiting. They love me. Always <laughs> be <they> recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, oh. and if you're, uh, well, we've got 400, what is today's, um, 403. So we've done 403 episodes. I would say we've probably done 20 on, on this. So, and then we also say it throughout other potty talks as well, because it's so important. But I will tell you, you, you may hear it. You may are like, okay, Richard, I've heard you say this a million times, but are you doing it? Right. Even some of our pro private coaching clients back when you know we did one on one coaching, um, but our co coaches that do coaches, we hear it all the time, you know, that we tell them always be recruiting. Don't stop. And they're like, yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. And then all of a sudden their crew, you know, disappears or, you know, someone, you know, moves or whatever it is. And it's like, um, okay, well, who do you have waiting in the wings? Well, you haven't necessarily been. I can't recruiting. find any guys. <laughs> I can't find any guys. Yeah. Cause you need the guys today. We got work. I, know, I can't find any guys. Mm -hmm. Always, always be, be recruiting. recruiting. Don't stop. Don't stop. Always, um, always have an ad out. Always be um, out on Facebook. E everything. And if someone calls your shop and says, "Are you hiring?" the answer is always, "Yes, we are." So that yes, we are. Leads to you. You want to have an always hiring culture, mm -hmm. and so the culture implies everybody. Everybody knows we're always hiring. Mm -hmm. Always, always hiring. Okay, from your plumbers to CSR to your, you know, um, your cleaner. To your, you know, your the, the supply house, everybody, right. everybody knows that um, ABC company, whatever your company's name is always hiring. Right. And that's not a sign of weakness. Mm. No. Like, like I don't, no one wants to work here. No. It's we're always looking for good guys. Always. And also tells your, your other staff, if you're always recruiting, huh, I better step up here. Right. He's, he's got, he's doing interviews. What the heck? Right. By the low man on the totem pole. Yes. There's, and by, on that, there's, gonna, there's always a low man on the totem pole. Yep. There's always a low man in the totem pole. Mm -hmm. There's always a low man on the totem pole. In fact, for the sake of your team, you will replace the low man on the so totem pole. So a warm body comes in. You don't know the history, but you've had this guy that, you know, seems to have a day off, you know, shows up sick, Every Friday. right? Whatever. <laughs> um, it's not, bad. it's just in you know, callbacks, you know, it's just, it's just a, a low man. He's not bad. He's making you money, but he's not, you know, he's just a kind of, all right. And this guy comes in, and he's sounding eager and you don't know, 
by the way, you know, they're all eager for the first 90 days. <laughs> and okay. Um, and then, then all of a sudden they can, they're not okay. Mm -hmm. But replace them. Okay. Just because, mm -hmm. I mean, just because I, again, Stop thinking like a plumber. Right. Start thinking like a plumbing business owner. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about network recruiting. That's a, okay. You this, boy, you, we're, we're handing out free million dollar I, this stuff to make sure. Right. All right. This was genius, and I really wish you would have thought of this when we had our plumbing business. <laughs> okay. Well, we do it with our client. Our yes. clients now. I didn't do it. Do it <laughs> then. Mm -hmm. But we call it network recruiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what what that means? With you, your your best your best recruiter. All right. Are your guys. Okay. Think about it. you know they're talking. They, they know the guys in the other shops, right? Mm -hmm. They're talking to supply house. Okay. Now, and if, you, let me say, if you made their lives, your your current plumbers' lives, really good with again no nights, weekends, all, on call, all the things. They've got good equipment. They've got good uniforms. Their pay is never messed up. All of that, and they're enjoying their job. Then, now, now the thing of it is, there are you know. We, you know, we put out, well, we offer, tell, we tell our guys, they get a, a bonus. They get a five hour bonus. If they hire somebody, what they don't, the bonus doesn't, no. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Also, when we say we've got to build a culture that, that we're about this, the guys are also looking to protect their turf. So the $500 is not enough to protect their turf. They're afraid, right. um, they're, they, they're thinking we're going to make, the other guys are going to take work from me mm -hmm. and jobs. Right. Or even to the point, well, you may like this other guy better than you like me. And okay. It is that silly. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So you really got to make it worth your while <laughs> and also make it part of the culture. So it, it is something that you're talking about every week with your guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're growing. We need, hey, we're looking to take on, we, we want to win the Super Bowl. So if you happen to know a good quarterback or, you know, a good lineman or good, hey, yeah, let me know. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. And it'll be, be talking to them. Right. Okay. And I'm going to make and, it. And get them on a team. I'm going to make it worth your while by. By, by giving them a percentage of their sales. Giving so, them a percentage. So let's cl clarify. So Joe, the plumber who works for you, right. um, Joe, the plumber who works for you, um, refers um, Jim, his buddy, right? And Jim comes on and he now, he now works for you. Joe, who referred Jim, now gets a percentage of everything Jim, um, all, all the revenue Jim brings in. Like 2%. Yeah, and two. One, one, one to 2% in that right, in right, that right. area. Um, you know, start at 1%, later it can be 2%. 2% of everything that Jim makes. What that does is a number of things, and I know you want to talk some of them. The main one is that that now um, Joe, your first plumber, is incentivized to make sure Jim fits into the culture, to make sure Jim knows your systems, your way of doing business, that he's doing it, um, you know, all, all the things, wearing the uniforms correctly. He, instead of being, feeling threatened nice. that, oh gosh, your Jim is here and he might be better than me. No, no, no. Joe wants Jim to do really well because that means that he, makes Joe, money. is going to make money. He, he makes money. He, right. get, he gets a piece of the action. And they get paid with that, with that, um, whatever per percentage, one or 2%. That's on every paycheck. Every pay. Right. Every, Don't make it, you know, this monthly or quarterly or whatever. And it's a separate line item, separate line item on their pay stub, um, bonus or recruiting bonus or whatever it is. Um, and it's easy to keep track of. If you use anything like Field Pulse or some of the other ones, it's super easy to keep track of. So that's one of the benefits. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the, and that's exactly what we saw, we saw happen. or We didn't quite realize that that would happen. Mm -hmm. But they actually become, you know, Joe is like, hey, hey Jim, what? Why'd you walk off that? Yeah. That was a water heater, man. What, <laughs> what did you walk, walk out? Well, mm -hmm. she was, next time do this and this. Right. Okay. And push. Don't, don't be walking. They'll start, they'll start managing the guys for you. Exactly. Not only like, are they going to be great recruiters, they're going to be great right. trainers. Right. As well. Okay. Because mm -hmm. they get, you know, get a piece of that. Mm -hmm. And then also it winds up being a, um, um, a, a train, a retaining. Yes. So, I mean, because they, retention, you, retention mm -hmm. right. You're getting, they're, they're getting, they build that up. Okay, they get a couple other guys, and the guys are doing better. You know, even yeah, Joe's referred two or three guys, and he's getting a you know one yeah. or two percent off right. of each one of you them. You know, making an extra five hundred bucks a paycheck mm -hmm. or whatever more. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it's a beautiful thing. He's not going to go and anywhere. He don't want to go anywhere. No. And he loses it if Joe quits. He right. loses all of it. Right. right. Joe, Joe, not this isn't a, a long term network marketing thing. Right. This right. Is, right. So yeah. if he quits, whoever brings him on mm -hmm. quits. Of course, you know. Then yeah, so then he gets to. Right. right. It's not that you continue paying them. No, right. no, no, no. Right. So yeah, it is. It's um, almost golden handcuffs. Or just fired. Right. right. Golden handcuffs kind of thing. Right. Um, golden handcuffs meaning, you know, he's, he's locked in. He's, he's making extra money by doing nothing. Right. So. 
And we, we've seen uh, teams grow with that. And these guys, you know, well, they recruit for you. Yep. All right. You know, not all, and we, and we haven't seen not all your guys, it's just like everything. Not all your guys are going right. to do everything. You, you know, right. you, you'll be a, be a couple guys. One of you, one or two of your guys will, will go off. And it doesn't matter. It, it helps. Okay. Right. And, and it's a beautiful thing. But mm -hmm. the bottom line is building that culture. Right. Okay. Uh, that we're always hiring. So you're always be always recruiting. recruiting. You know, yes. our thing is recruit, recruit, recruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always yep. be recruiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. I could, I could pound that one into the ground. Yep. Okay. Those are, those were some good bonus tips that we gave away too. So. Yeah. Hey, yeah, a couple things there. Uh, you're going to make you some money. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, so do it. Okay. All right, good one here. Uh -huh. Another good one. I know. Okay, but before we let you go. Wait, no, you have something else that you want to offer one other thing? What do you want me a to call? That's what I want to get. Oh, I thought you, okay. were, doing, oh, I yeah. thought you were doing your closeout. I'm sorry. See, these faces kinda, are freaking me yeah. out. <laughs> go ahead and do No, I do. I do okay. want, yeah, mm -hmm. on, on this. You want to learn more about, about mm -hmm. this, okay? Mm-hmm. And, and other things that help you run your plumbing business, not like a plumber, but a plumbing business owner. Which you okay. are. Let's have a conversation, mm -hmm. okay? Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call and schedule your call with one of my strategic coaches, mm -hmm. okay? No, there's no pushing it. Well, you know, you're going to try to sell me or uh, don't, don't be scared. It's free, <laughs> okay? <laughs> right, get, get over the scared thing, okay? All right, mm -hmm. take off the mask. Take off the helmet, <laughs> okay? Climb out of your mama's basement. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's what it takes to grow a plumbing business. Okay. It's simple. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but it's not necessarily easy. Okay. And there's some things, things you got to know mm -hmm. on this call. All we want to do is hear, you know, what, what you're experiencing. All right. And we're going to, that, that way we can help you determine what's, what's standing in your way. And then we're going to point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, and you can, Take it or leave it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shove okay. it, mister. All right. But, but it's free. Okay. Really, our, our goal here is, and we kind of be a little hard, a little fun here, but it really is to help you. We do want to elevate uh, the plumbing industry. Absolutely. Okay. And um, it's been very, very good to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's, it's a needed and, uh, profession. Right. All right. Okay. And uh, we're, we're glad that you're uh, in the ring with us. Okay. So there you go. All right. So now, before we let you go, yes. okay, as always, <laughs> I want to remind you that you're purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.